this is the uh, studio edit screen um, it allows you to edit presets but in a different way basically um, what is it allows you to edit it by levels so that's your mod, uh, modulation your delay your reverb your harmony your double and it's showing you there your um, your effects level your lead level effects level lead level and so on um, you can turn effects on and off by clicking up there so you can hear the modulation effect yeah and that's your delay so you can turn them on and off at the top there um, if I was to adjust the uh, flanger uh, effect level it's automatically changing at the bottom here the parameters for the, the uh, modulation yeah so if I go on to delay it changes for delay and so on um, now sometimes that's handy sometimes it's not so you, at the top of the screen if I turn auto show info off um, then to get to the parameters I've got to click uh, the buttons underneath so if I move that you see this slot's not changing down here to get to the edits delay edit screen I've got to click that one which is well I'm going to leave it like that for this because I'll be messing around with the levels quite a bit um, all right so that's all your effect, your effect blocks there um, you've also got your uh, voices one two three four um, and it tells you at the top here uh, what the button assignment is high low lower and high that's what it appears to as on the touch itself yeah um, if I wanted to edit uh, voice one click voice one then I get um, the parameters of voice one now you see these these hashed out ones here they're hashed out because they're special parameters which you can't normally edit um, so to to allow me to edit those if I click on uh, advanced mode on they appear if I click highlight advanced mode then they go in orange so I can see what they are so now I can actually move them around yeah that's just might with this one of their faders so you just grab you just grab it move it around to wherever you like um, you've also got a nice bit of help over here which basically covers the parameters I'm not going to go through all the parameters for you um, but there's loads and loads of help there I could change the style as I'm in the voice I could change the style for that voice yeah third fifth and so on and you could change the voice into it yeah hope that makes sense and you've got the same then on voice two voice three voice four these are not active um, I could turn them on just by moving them and the voices become active for the harmony I'm just gonna turn them off bump there you go and I was showing you that they're off at the top there um, you've got a clipboard same as the other the other one so I can clip clipboard and I can specify where the uh, I want to copy harmonies and so on um, now they've also got under here some three buttons a full mix is how it is at the moment I could turn on dry mix which uh, these are designed for if you're using it in a door, so you could you could uh, send the voice ice touch your uh, recorded vocal, the clean vocal, uh, and then record back then the dry mix, which would be all the lead levels, all the uh, active lead levels, and then you could send it again with all the active wet levels. So if I turn on dry, it sounds like this. So there's no effects there. If I turn on wet, it might sound a bit funny, but this is the wet signal. Yeah, it's just the effect, no dry. Back to normal. Yeah, so I think if you're using it with a door, you'll understand um, benefit you'll get from that. Uh, so going back into this one, if we go to Harmony as an example, you then get a load of extra buttons up here, which uh, will change certain things. So if I go to Style, then I can adjust the style. Now, if you should be able to see underneath here the... Um, parameters oh, pardon for that. Uh, if I change it to two above two below you should see them if I can find it two above two below they will change under here see them I think the vibrato one changed just clicking a few of them can you see them changing so it's it's that quick and you'll notice that these are all changing up here so two above two below um, all your four voices are changing yeah um, 
So let me just do go from that one. You can choose natural play. You got your natural play parameters there. You've got tuning, um, you know, humanization, choir, the vibrato, and specific switches. Yeah, that's just for the harmony. Uh, and you get the similar sort of things for uh, your double, your reverb. Again, you can change the style. These are all changed there again. See them all changing? Yeah. Uh, so just an, uh, another way of edit and editing the presets. Um, I personally prefer this way because you've got your levels there on the screen so you can see exactly uh, how it's being made up. Um, I can go back to show the presets. I can load a different preset in. Harmony, radio harmony delay. Yeah. Order. All in all, it's just a yeah. You think you get the idea? So go back to sixth. So back to this the particular setting there. Um, you can obviously load, save, delete, import, export, print, uh, and abort. Now the abort ones are very good ones, like a get me out of here thing. So if you made a load of uh, weird parameters changes and it was all wrong, uh, that is all. You know, you messed it all up basically. Let's click abort. And it's put it back to where it was. Um, so I can get you out of a, a bar situation pretty quickly. Um, you've also got, uh, a, you can right click your mouse and get a, a load of different options there. Uh, amongst them, assign favorites. So you can assign that particular preset to bank A number one, two, three, or four, or five, up to bank E one, two, three, four, or five. It was a bit easier to uh, generate, uh, create your presets uh, from this screen. Um, so that's a ve very quick tour of the uh, studio screen, um, and it give you an idea of, of how that uh, how that one works.